What's up everybody, welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy the videos. Today we're doing a little prepping for the coronavirus. Uh, I don't really know what to think about this whole thing. It's pretty crazy. Uh, I think I think everybody's overreacting just a little much, but it is serious. Uh, it's a virus just like the flu, so you know. Gonna do a little prepping today. We're headed to get some chickens. I had chickens, uh, I had a dozen chickens before I started YouTube, uh, and long story short, I left the coop open one night. I had them from chicks, I, so I raised them from like itty bitty chicks um, up to like right before they're about to start laying, and they did great all the way up till that day. And that day, I accidentally forgot to latch the chicken coop uh, whenever they all went in at night, and came out the next morning and there was dead chickens spread out over my whole backyard um, and half of them didn't have heads so I'm thinking it was either a skunk or a raccoon that got in there and killed them all. Today I'm going to get some full grown chickens that are already laying. Um, I've been talking to this guy or girl off of Craigslist and uh, people are going crazy over this corona deal. I mean she said that she had or he or she I talked to him on the phone yesterday and the Craigslist ad said all kinds of chickens blah 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 and so when I talked to her on the phone I said do you have any more available she said yeah I have some still but you better hurry they're going quick I sold over 200 yesterday and I was like wow these people are really prepping and getting chickens to that many people are buying chickens for this coronavirus. I mean, I know it's serious and I'm not buying chickens because of this coronavirus. Uh, I am just for the video, just to make it fun. I did want chickens again because we had them uh, about a year and a half ago and I went and got a coop yesterday. My buddy gave me his old uh, coop and uh, that way I didn't have to build one and do all that. I'm only gonna get a couple today because I really want to get some weird ones. I've been looking online um, but I think the weird looking ones, like the ones with feathers on their feet and the puffy heads and all that stuff, I think I'm gonna have to raise those as chicks because uh, first of all, they're super expensive full grown and second of all, they're really hard to find full grown. So I may get some of those chicks. I actually have to go to Outwoods today too to get some uh, chicken wire and staples to finish, to, to fix a little piece of the door on the chicken coop. Um, so y'all just enjoy this video. We're gonna do a little vlog style today and uh, prepare for this coronavirus outbreak and we'll be self-sustained. We got freezers full of meat. We got animals we can shoot and we're about to get chickens and we're gonna have some fresh eggs for a good while. Woo, I got the chickens. We have the chickens. Sorry I didn't get to show you guys that. I'm at a um it's called homestead heritage here in central texas it's a really awesome place and they make amazing food but uh the young guy i was talking to he raises chickens and he was selling them and i just didn't feel like pulling out the camera so there's so many people buying chickens he said he hold, he sold over 100 today uh and i couldn't even pick out the chickens i wanted um every Every chicken that I asked if I could buy, he said it was already sold. Like all the cool ones with the feathers on their heads. I got one cool chicken. I'll let y'all name him. He's the only one that looks different from the others. And I'm going to have to look the names up again. But uh, the four big hens that are already laying, they're the red. Well, I'll look it up here in a minute. But we're headed to Atwoods now. I'll show you the chickens when we get back to the house. Um, got to get some chicken scratch, some sawdust. Uh, or hay, either one for the coop, and then I gotta get some wire and staples to uh, finish that door up. And then we will be headed to the house to uh, get our chickens ready for the coop. Y'all leave it in the comments what y'all what y'all would like to see me get. There's literally hundreds of different kinds of chickens out there, um, but I really like the cool, weird looking chickens. So y'all leave it in the comments. Let me know what you want me to get, and uh, I think I'm gonna order some chickens. I've never ordered chicken. Time to go get some food and some buckets and whatever else. We 
I got a few watering buckets and feed buckets, but I really want to get one of those watering buckets that has like the nipples on the bottom, bottom where they peck at it. It saves so much water. So uh, see if they have those. And then, uh, then I got to run to Home Depot, get some stuff there. Then we're going to let the chickens free range in a coop. Chicken scratch, chicken scratch. What do we need? Oh, that looks good. Snacks? Any snacks? Ah, they don't need snacks. They need to eat all my bugs. Definitely want a big water. Hey Joe, hey Joe. Ready to meet your new friends? Guys, this is the coop that I picked up yesterday. Uh, these things are expensive at the hardware stores around here, but this is the only thing I gotta fix, this door right here. Uh, just this half of the door is messed up. I, I think their dog got into it, but. Um, let's pull these chickens out, get them some fresh air, see what the puppies think about them. I'm not gonna let them out of the crate yet because I think our dog would probably destroy them. Alright. There's all the stuff I got. Get these chickens some fresh air. Yeah. There's five of them in there, I think. Yeah, and they're like sitting on the small one. Alright, so I gotta get this door off. Basically rebuild it. Um, shouldn't be that hard. I love that chicken wire. All right, we got the coop pretty much done. I just gotta put the hinges on the door, but I can't do it on the trailer because the door swings into the trailer. So we're going to check out some spots where we wanna put the coop, but I want it to be where they're close enough to the backyard so they can come and eat all the bugs in the backyard. I built this little dog pen the other day dogs are loving it but they're gonna dig out I guarantee they're gonna dig out pretty quick so maybe this corner right here for the chicken coop I want them to have a little bit of shade when the summertime but maybe I could trim some of these trees but I just don't want it to be right next to the trees because coons I don't want coons to be able to get in the come from the back side of the woods and just still be in the woods and dig under but, I don't know, let's keep looking. is in place and we gotta throw some of this in there give it a nice little bed piece to my door that I could have used. That's nice. 
I use that hinge though. Cool. Put one. Too big. It'll hold. We have two nesting boxes on each side. Um, I wish there was something to hold that up. So we'll take two. Take some of this. They'll kind of, they'll make it how they want it. And then I'll put a bunch in the middle. That wind is getting after it. That wind's blowing all the dust in my eyes. All right, now put a bunch in the middle. That way they can kind of all Take in more, make their nesting boxes like they want it. And if it gets cold, they'll have a place to go. Well, Probably too much, put too much, and they're probably gonna lay <laughs> anywhere in here. But that's all right. Those bags just get nasty if you leave them out. So put it all in here and let, let them decide what they're gonna do. All right, time to go get the chickens. So we gotta hang the water bucket to where it's low enough for the chickens. That was a bad idea. About a foot, foot and a half off the ground. Would be good. Hopefully have some fresh eggs in the morning. He said all the ones except for that blue one. Well, y'all haven't seen them yet. But all four of the five are laying eggs, so. We'll see in the morning. I have a feeling they probably won't lay tonight just because it's a new place and they're probably scared, but. Water's hanging. Let's get the food bowl ready and then it'll be time for chickens. So I just got some regular old chicken pellets. I'll probably get some scratch. Pull that up. Oh, that's great. Great, great, great chicken feeder. Just fell apart. That's all right. First night, put the food over here in this corner. And, uh, put some up there for them to scratch it. Okay. Whew. We did it before dark. Now let's go get chicken. All right. Probably gonna be hard to name the four red ones, but the blue one y'all can name for sure. I wanna see. Yep, that works perfect. See how it drips water? Perfect, so I'm gonna put their mouths up to it just to see if they, I don't know, see if they. All right, Mr. Chickens, welcome to your new casa. So that's what four of them look like. Pick, pick. Right. 
Calm down. <laughs> Four and this one. This one's my favorite. Oh man, I can't remember the name of him. I'll look it up, but it's like a blue or a giant something giant. Uh, he's an awesome chicken. That's what he looks like. He's pretty cool. He's younger, younger than those other four, but uh. Let's get you some water, dude. There you go. Cool. We have chickens at the mullet farm now. I guess that's what we're calling it. But we are ready for the coronavirus. Let's see if they want some food. Oh yeah, you're going after it. That's good. Hopefully they find the ladder. Let's put one of them up there. So they can figure it out. All right. We are good to go. That's awesome. I've been wanting chickens again for a while now. Finally got them back. So while we're at this whole prepping deal, uh, I had a garden too whenever we had our chickens a year and a half ago or whatever, right before I started YouTube. And uh, I kind of gave up on it last year. I was too busy with YouTube, but I want to revamp it this year. So y'all leave in the comments if y'all want to see me do a garden. But I use railroad ties. I got, last time I did a square, a four railroad, railroad ties. So it was super small. But I think I'm gonna, you can see the square where it was. Um, but I'm gonna add two more railroad ties. So it'll be a lot bigger than it was. Dogs are already trying to chase chicken. So, um, y'all leave in the comments if y'all want to see that. I don't have to film it, but I'm going to do it anyway, so figured I'd film it if y'all want to see that. But I'm going to clear out that area right there and put it there, and uh, that way it has some shade. The last one I did was just kind of out in the open, and everything kind of shriveled up and died. So, uh, yeah, we got chickens. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave in the comments what y'all want to see next. I am actually posting the last video with Stu next week. Um, I had some things come up, so uh, be waiting for that video next week, next Thursday. And if you haven't watched, if you're new to Mullet Man and you haven't watched any of my videos, click a playlist, go check it out. If you like hunting, fishing, uh, cooking, anything like that, go check a playlist out. Um, send it to your friends and family, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and eat good.